again. When the Roman Empire was at the height of its power, a huge army of three legions crossed the Rhine and marched into the forests of Germany. It was much stronger than the army of the German tribes. But the general in charge made some mistakes. He was overconfident and his calculations were wrong. The result was a terrible defeat for the Roman army, perhaps the worst in its history. Rome would never again try to conquer that part of Germany, and all because one general was overconfident and his calculations were mistaken. We are not Roman generals, but we do have our spiritual combats. Some may seem insignificant, but all are important. This is why we must learn the art of spiritual combat. In today's Gospel, Jesus compares our life to a king going into battle. He must be prepared. If not, he is heading for disaster. The great biblical example of spiritual combat is David's fight with Goliath. He did not defeat him with a sling and a stone. It was the Lord in his heart that gave him victory. For a Christian, this is not so much a question of how strong we are, but in whom we put our strength. We do, with Jesus, can win our spiritual battles, no matter how difficult they seem to be. Just like David. God bless you. Have a wonderful Sunday. Goodbye.